Hello YouTube, welcome to Dev Tamin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a login page by using Tailwind. I have made a video about how to install Tailwind on your computer before or how to create Tailwind projects like this before. I will put the link of how to create Tailwind projects for you in the description. Or you can go to my GitHub and clone this project or download the zip files and extract it on desktop and then open this directory with Visual Studio Code like this. Okay, and then you can just uh, type npm run dev to start a project. Okay, in index files over here, right click and open with live server. And don't forget to install live server extension on Visual Studio Code. And then the web browser will open. You will see that the initial website that's developed by Tailwind will look like this. All right, we've done setting up the projects. Next, let's get start coding. Let me remove this div, create a new div, and create a div over here. Let me create h1 tag, and name is login. And let me create hr horizontal. Let's see. Okay, this look good. For this one, this div, I'm going to put class, and I'm going to use flex. I want this to be at the center, so I put justify center. And then I put item center to make it center. Okay, then I determine the height of the div to be high screen. High screen means high 100 view height. And then for the background color, I need BG in the go. Save. Let's go back and watch. You will see login is at the center right now. So let's determine the width of this div. So width I want is to be 96. And then padding, I need it as 6, which is uh, 1.5 RAM. And the box should have shadow, algae, and background should be white, and it should be rounded. So I put route medium, save. Let's see. Okay, this look good. Uh, the next step, let's create input box. Uh, under here, I will create div. Then I will create label tag for username. Over here, I put username. And over here, we create input type tags. ID is this one, username. Paste this over here. Next, put class to style it. Close the tag. So let's go back and look at it. You will see input box is over here. I want this input box to be at the bottom of the username label. So over here, I put class. So I use block and text should be base, which is one rem. 16 pixel and margin bottom I put 2 which is 8 pixel see this look good so over here I will put class margin top 3 and this one should be class margin top 3 as well so we will get the margin top for horizontal rule and the margin top for username next let me put border and the width of the input field should be full width. Okay, this look good. Next, text should be 16 pixel, and padding x axis should be 2, and padding y axis should be 1. Then I put focus, outline, none, and focus, ring, 0. Focus, border, Gray 600. Save. Uh, let me put placeholder. Enter username. Save. Let's go back to the web browser. You will see. All right, this look good. When we focus, the border change. Okay, let's copy this div and put it down here. 
change this one to be password and this text label should be password as well copy this one paste this over here and type should be password over here placeholder let me change to enter password save let's go back okay this look good okay let me change the login font style and font size so for login over here I put class and I use text 3 XL and display block text should be at the center and font should be semi bold save okay let's take a look I want to put a font awesome icon in front of the login text okay let me access to CDN font awesome okay let me get this one and let me copy this tag then go back here and paste this over here save let's go to font awesome website and search for and search for icon login mm, I think I'm going to search for user okay let me copy this one copy it and paste it in front of the login text save go back here okay we have login logo over here okay let me create forgot password and remember me div so this one should be div and this one I'm going to create input type checks box close it and then I put label remember me save and over here I create another div and I put a tag href hashtag and over here I put forgot password uh, remember me I just removed the question mark over here save it and let's take a look over here so I want this one to sit side by side and I want margin top as 3 so over here I put class margin top mt3 display fix and then uh, justify between item center save okay this look good uh, I want to change the color of the forgot password so over here I put class and then I put text in the go 800 and font semi bold save okay this look good next I want to create a submit button okay let me create a button over here let me create a div and put class margin top is 5 I think then button uh, login put class border and border 2 and put border in the go 700 okay BG in the go 700 as well so text should be white save let's take a look we need uh, padding so let me put uh, PY is 1 PX is 5 save okay let me put uh, the button type is submit save I think the width of the button should be full width so we don't need uh, px5 just put width full okay when we hover I want it to change the background and the text color uh, I need it to be rowdy's as well so I put rowdy's md and then hover bg transparent and hover text indigo 700 font should be semi bold save okay let's take a look uh, we got border 2 so I am going to fix border over here okay all right this look good Alright, this is all about this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.